from one creature that held back the economy in Africa to another that wrought hell in a Brazilian community. Here are eight tiny animals that can destroy. Today's video was done in collaboration with Bored Badger. Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out more. Number eight, tsetse fly. Even though the tsetse flies resemble common house flies in appearance, they are nothing alike when it comes to the dangers they pose for human beings. These creatures are much tougher than house flies, which are usually easily crushed with a fly swatter. Tsetse flies are equipped with long proboscis, which they use to feed on the blood of vertebrate animals. They are known carriers of trypanosomes, organisms that cause human sleeping sickness. This is a debilitating disease which can result in the swelling of the brain. It affects thousands of people each year, particularly in Africa. Historically, the tsetse fly has had a significant economic impact in large regions of sub-Saharan Africa by inhibiting human settlement and agriculture. Number seven, pus caterpillar. The pus caterpillar is the larval form of the southern flannel moth and it can be found in various parts of the United States, Mexico, and Central America. Its preferred habitat consists of elms, oaks, wild plum, as well as numerous garden plants such as rose and ivy. It usually measures around one inch in length. The pus part of its name presumably comes from its resemblance to a Persian cat due to its long, luxuriant, fur-like bristles. The caterpillar is considered a dangerous insect because the fur that covers its body has venomous spines, which can cause extremely painful reactions upon contact with human skin. Some patients have compared the pain pain to broken bones or blunt force trauma. More severe reactions can include numbness, headaches, chest pains, or difficulty breathing. Number six, tarantula hawk. When asked about the sting of the tarantula hawk, one researcher described the physical reaction as immediate, excruciating, unrelenting pain that simply shuts down one's ability to do anything, except scream. Mental discipline simply does not work in these situations. Tarantula hawks have very large stingers, which is why few predators are able to eat them. According to the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, this wasp owns one of the most painful stings in the animal kingdom. Its killing technique, which it mainly employs when hunting tarantulas, is also quite brutal. It has long legs ending in hooks, which it uses to grapple its victim. The tarantula hawk will then sting its prey, paralyzing it and dragging it to a brood nest as living food. Once this is done, the wasp will lay a single egg on its prey, which hatches into larva that starts eating at the victim while it's still alive. Tarantula hawks can be found in regions ranging from India to Southeast Asia, Australia, Europe, Africa, and the Americas. They are among the largest wasp species, measuring up to two inches in length. Their bodies have a bright blue-black coloration and bright rust-colored wings. These colors act as a warning against potential predators. Number five, Irukandji jellyfish with a bell that rarely exceeds one inch in width, the Irukandji jellyfish is one of the smallest jellyfish species in the world. That doesn't mean it isn't as or more dangerous than its larger counterparts. It has four thin tentacles which can reach up to 3.3 feet in length. Unlike other jellyfish species that only have stingers on their tentacles, the Irukandji jellyfish also has stingers on its bell, a unique adaptation that researchers have yet to figure out. Its size and fragility make studying it quite difficult, which is why not much is known about its venom and life cycle. The fact the fact that the jellyfish is very small and transparent also makes it hard to spot in the water. An average of 50 to 100 people end up in the hospital from Irukandji jellyfish stings each year. Its venom has been described as a hundred times stronger than that of a cobra and a thousand times more potent than that of the tarantula. It's so powerful that it can cause a fatal brain hemorrhage. The symptoms associated with certain species of Irukandji jellyfish 
which are collectively known as Urukanji syndrome. Aside from physical effects such as severe back and kidney pain, headaches, vomiting, nausea, or sweating, it also reportedly induces a psychological effect described as the feeling of impending doom. These symptoms can last from a couple of hours to several weeks and the victims often require hospitalization. Number four, blue ringed octopus. When considering its small size of only five to eight inches, it's hard to believe that the blue ringed octopus is one of the most venomous animals in the world. This deadly marine creature has yellowish skin and blue-black rings that change color as a warning display whenever it feels threatened. That's when the body turns bright yellow and the rings start flashing bright iridescent blue within a third of a second. These rapid flashes tell would-be predators that they are taking on an exceptionally dangerous creature. Despite their docile demeanor, blue ring octopi have venom which contains a powerful neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin. These tiny creatures hold enough venom to kill 26 adult human beings within minutes and there isn't any known Known blue ringed octopus anti-venom available. If that isn't scary enough, there's also the fact that their bites are tiny and usually painless. This means that by the time the symptom sets in, it might be too late. The effect of blue ring octopus envenomation on human beings is devastating and may lead to nausea, respiratory arrest, heart failure, blindness, as well as partial or total paralysis. Tetrodotoxin, which is 1,200 times more toxic than cyanide, is produced by bacteria in the octopus's salivary glands. Tetrodotoxin envenomation can result in the victim being unable to move while still being completely aware of their surroundings. Without treatment, death may occur within minutes and it's usually caused by suffocation as a result of diaphragm paralysis. Number three, ticks. These tiny arachnids rarely measure more than 0.2 inches, but they are very dangerous because of their ability to transmit diseases. They are widely distributed all over the world, but tend to prefer warm, humid climates. There are two major tick families, the Argosidae, also known as soft ticks, and the Ixodidae, or hard ticks. They live by sucking the blood of other animals, including birds and mammals, as well as certain types of reptiles and amphibians. They have eight legs and oval pear-shaped bodies that become engorged with blood whenever they feed. Ticks are vectors of at least 12 diseases that affect humans and other animals. They are involved in the transmission of bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Among the many tick-borne diseases, there's typhus, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, Colorado tick fever, Q fever, Lyme disease, and others. Some species, such as Ixod's holocyclus, are also venomous and may cause tick paralysis. Only one other creature surpasses the tick's disease-bearing ability. Number two, mosquitoes. It may be hard to believe, but the tiny mosquito is actually the deadliest animal on Earth. No animal is safe from this bloodthirsty creature, as it feeds on mammals, reptiles, birds, amphibians, even on other types of fish or invertebrates. Mosquitoes belong to the Sulicidae family and draw their name from the Spanish term for little fly. Females of the species have a tube-like mouth part called the proboscis, which they use to pierce the skin of their victim to consume their blood. There are more than 2,500 mosquito species and many of them have evolved resistance against commonly used insecticides. They have even changed their feeding habits, feeding outside and earlier, to avoid insecticide sprayed homes and bed nets. It seems that mosquitoes can adapt to whatever human beings throw at them. These vampire-like creatures are responsible for more human deaths each year than all other animals on the list combined. 
combines. This is because mosquitoes are carriers for a plethora of diseases which they can transmit from host to host. These include infections like yellow fever, dengue fever, malaria, Zika virus, West Nile virus, filariasis, and more. Business magnate and well-known humanitarian Bill Gates commented on how dangerous these creatures are, stating the worst is malaria, which kills more than 600,000 people every year. Another 200 million cases incapacitate people for days at a time. It threatens half the world's population and causes billions of dollars of lost productivity annually. Number one, Lenomia caterpillar. Lenomia oblica, also known as the giant silkworm moth, is a creature that's most dangerous in its larval form. The caterpillar's bristles inject venom that's strong enough to kill adult human beings. The Lenomia oblica caterpillar measures around two inches in length with colors ranging from brown to green and it's typically well camouflaged. Rows of tubercles make up the caterpillar's body and they are crowned with whorls of detached spines that vary in size. Each of these clumps of spines can pierce the victim's skin and release potent toxins. These caterpillars can be found in southern Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay, and Argentina. It became known worldwide after an epidemic occurred in a community in Rio, Grand do Sul, Brazil. Local physicians were dumbfounded as numerous patients started coming with gangrene-like symptoms that manifested through their bodies. Some of them died from massive blood leakage in the brain. Eventually, it was found that the Lenomia obliqua was the common factor in all of the incidents. The next night, they reserved all the same rooms under a different name. When they returned the next day and shined the black light on the beds, they discovered that one third of the sheets hadn't been cleaned. In this image, the Inside Edition reporter is staring at neon evidence that her sheets were not changed before she checked in. 